This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we are at the Precious Metal Summit 2019 in Beaver Creek, Colorado. With me right now is Nick Mather from Soul Gold. It's a publicly traded company. I got a symbol for you, S-O-L-G, on both the LSC and the TSX. Nick, welcome to SNN Live. Thanks very much, Robert. It's great to be here. It's great to have you. So, you. for our audience, let's get an overview of the company, and then we'll go from there. Sol Gold is uh, an Ecuador-focused porphyry copper gold and gold explorer. We are exploring the length of the country uh, on uh, 13 uh, projects. Uh, our main one at the moment is the Cascabel project where we have the Alpala deposit which we're taking through pre-feasibility study at the moment to demonstrate that we can economically develop the 23 million ounces of gold and 11 million tonnes of copper that we've defined in it so far. So, very active work program for us at the moment. So let's get a history of the company. When did the company start and how did you develop to where you're currently at today? Sol Gold originated uh, firstly in Solomon Islands in the late 90s. Uh, we floated it on the LSE in uh, early 2006. We were looking for porphyry coppers in Solomon Islands in the Western Pacific. And uh, we found lots of big porphyry systems, but they weren't oxidised enough or rich enough. And uh, that's why we went to uh, the Eastern Pacific, to the Andean Copper Belt. It's the richest copper belt in the world. And the northern section is gold rich. And Ecuador, uh, a significant 700 kilometre long slab of that, that had never really been explored for these systems at all. And uh, we uh, first discovered Alpala in the first drill hole in early 2014 and used our knowledge and the, our first mover advantage um, being active in the country to peg 72 other licenses all through the length of Ecuador and that forms the basis for our 12 other wholly owned projects. So wh what would you say about your company makes you guys unique when compared to your competition out there? Solgold is uh, unique because we have a very constructive approach to uh, relationships at all levels in Ecuador with the local community, with the provincial government and with the federal government. Uh, we make it known that uh, we are there for the long term. Uh, we're developing an industry, not just one mine that uh, other companies might like to just come and rape the high grade out of. We are dedicating ourselves to the construction of a porphyry copper gold mining industry in Ecuador. So we have a unique approach to, to our community and social responsibility. And um, uh, we also are heavily invested from a management point of view. Uh, lots of other companies don't have uh, their management invested. And importantly, we have a string of projects which will uh, endorse Sol Gold is a, a very important household name in Ecuador for generations to come. So Nick, we got, we got the history and a little bit about what makes the company unique. Tell us a little bit more about the project that you got going on in Ecuador. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about the, uh, the main project, Alpala, which is on the Cascabel concession. We've uh, identified 23 million ounces of gold and uh, nearly 11 million tonnes of copper there. The preliminary economic analysis uh, showed that we could uh, run a 55-year mine there, uh, $2.5 billion to uh, do the development, but uh, it's got a rich high-grade core of 420 million tonnes at 1.47% copper equivalent, and that will mean that we can pay the capital down in the first four years. Over the next uh, 15 years, uh, we can see around about uh, $15 billion, uh, which would go into our bank account as uh, after-tax surplus. And the project shows a, a net present value at $3.30 copper and $1,300 gold of uh, around $4.2 billion and uh, an internal rate of return of around about 26.5%. So it's a very robust looking project uh, and we think it's only going to get better uh, as we continue to expand the resource and get more detail around the uh, upcoming feasibility studies. And what's your background? I mean, how did you come into all this? I'm a, a geologist by training and an opportunist by nature. I, I use my geological skills to identify projects that have uh, massive upside, uh, put my money where my mouth is. Um, I don't believe that you can raise money off people if you're not prepared to invest it yourself. 
and uh, so I, I make a business out of exploring for uh, large systems in, uh, in copper gold, previously done it in oil, mineral sands, coal, um, gas, and uh, uh, this project, this copper gold project that we have in Ecuador on uh, 13 different projects is uh, the, the biggest metals uh, enterprise I've ever been involved with and it has uh, the potential to uh, make a real difference to the nation of Ecuador. And from what you can tell me, what are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of 2019 going into 2020? Uh, for the rest of 2019, we're working on a new mineral resource estimate that'll be MRE3, which we expect to be uh, certainly bigger than MRE2. We're uh, working on the main elements of the pre-feasibility study, which we would expect to come out at the end of uh, the first quarter in 2020. Uh, we're looking to get the bankable feasibility study completed by the end of 2020. So we're running a lot of uh, intense activities in the field and in laboratories to get uh, this project uh, fully bankable and feasible by the uh, end of 2020. We will also be very shortly commencing drilling on uh, our key 100% owned projects, um, the most important of which is Blanca. Uh, a very high grade gold project, uh, eight kilometres from uh, Cascabel and uh, we hope that that uh, very quickly outlines a high grade gold resource that we'll be able to use to uh, bootstrap the development of uh, Cascabel. And where can our audience go and find more information about Soul Gold? You can go to our website uh, www.soulgold.com and uh, keep an eye on our uh, uh, news announcements on the uh, LSE and the TSX. Uh, you can also talk to some of our, uh, our key brokers, uh, Hanneman Partners, uh, Peel Hunt, uh, Librum, and uh, uh, JP Morgan has also put out some very useful research on us. So there's a number of broking companies, uh, quite large ones, and uh, uh, copper, copper gold specialists that are, uh, are following us, and you get some great information from those research notes. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we are at the Precious Metal Summit 2019 in Beaver Creek, Colorado. With me again has been Nick Mather from Soul Gold, publicly traded company. The symbol is S-O-L-G, S-O-L-G on the TSX and the LSE. Nick, thank you for joining me today. Thanks very much, Rob.